Hello everyone. Um, we're going to give you a little sample of what it's like to uh, work at an apiary today. Um, we're going to be doing some work with those hives over there. There's Lauren and Peter. And I just came over here to show you what a swarm looks like. So this swarm landed on this tree last night. We watched it settle. And this is pretty much how they um, reproduce, keep their numbers up. When uh, conditions aren't right in the hive, either too much bees or um, the queen is getting replaced because she's getting too old or something, the hive will swarm and split. And uh, there's a perfect example of a swarm right there. So they attach themselves onto a tree or a side of a building or sometimes your home and uh, they'll send out scouts until they can find a new home. And that's pretty much it. So let's go see what's happening over here. Say hi, Lauren. So we're here making up some new hives. So we're taking out some different, uh, what do you call them, trays? <laughs> Frames. Frames. Frames of bees and brood. Frames of bees and brood. Trying not to take the queen. I feel like this is a big where's Waldo every time we're trying to find the queen. So you're basically simulating that. So this is effectively an artificial swarm. You'll notice I have many electronic devices. What's that one? This is a to give us uh, some sort of subsidy, even if it was a, a, a And that's one way to capture a swarm. Well, it might capture it, it might not. It just depends if the queen's still up there. They'll fly back up there. But if she's not up there, they'll eventually find their way down here. So what we were doing before was um, Peter had put a special solution, basically you can call it swarm honey, um, and the bees love the smell of it. So we spread that on top of the box, put the box directly underneath the tree that they had swarmed in, and basically just shook them in. Um, the goal is trying to get the queen to drop inside because where the queen goes, the workers will follow. So uh, you really can't tell for sure if it was a mission, a, a successful mission, until you come back a little later. If they're all up in the tree, you didn't get her. If they're down here, then uh, you did a good job. And as you can see, I think we got her because this box is now completely filled. So this will start a new colony for them and you can work with it. So instead of having to produce a hive, just let nature do its own job and Away you go.
You can see I got some honey on my gloves here, so uh, there's bees crawling all over the camera and everything right now. Not to mention all over me. Hi everyone. So, I'm really happy that we have these bee suits, let's just say. So far, working directly with the bees, we've been here, today will be day seven, and I've been stung five times, so still ahead of the game. So fingers crossed, because the day's still young. So we're testing to see uh, if these new hives have a queen by introducing a new queen into it and seeing how the bees react. In that plastic cage is the queen. So if they run up and they try to sting it, that means that they have a queen already inside the new hive somewhere. If they're queenless, they'll be happy to see her. So this is one we already put in, and they're not trying to sting her. Good to go. It's just that easy. 